Good morning. Welcome to the first step in developing your course schedule for the upcoming school year. Please pay close and careful attention to ensure you have the accurate information for completing your schedule card. Today's information will be available on the Douglas website should you need to review it. <clears throat> Advisor teachers will distribute a schedule card that should have your name and current transcript as well as an academy brochure. Students in the Health Science Academy should have a yellow schedule card. Students in the Professional Services Academy should have a blue schedule card, and students in the Technology Academy should have a green schedule card. Look over your transcript to make sure that all courses and credits earned are included and updated. If this is not the case, you should list your name on the orange tra transcript error form provided in your advisory teacher's packet. There is only one transcript error form, so multiple student names can be included. This information will be returned to the counselors so that they can follow up with getting these transcripts updated as soon as possible. You are encouraged to download a copy of the course directory from the Douglas webpage if you are unable to get a copy today. The course directory contains information about fees, NCAA eligibility, credit recovery, the IOP, keys, as well as descriptions of each academy and courses offered at Douglas. The course directory is where you will find information to answer questions. There is a table of contents located at the front and an alphabet index in the back as a reference to help you locate specific information. Frederick Douglass is in the Academies of Lexington High School. This means our philosophy is to create smaller learning communities within our building that will allow you to connect with, connect what you are learning in the classroom with real world applications, making your learning more relevant. Our academies will allow you to graduate with a high school diploma and certifications or eligibility for certifications that can be immediately put to use in respective industries. So scheduling will require that we are intentional in completing core content requirements and pathway sequences. Sequences refer to completing one course prior to the next. All, high, all Kentucky high schools have classes that, require, that are required core, such as English, math, science, social studies. These courses must be taken and passed in order to obtain your diploma. Career and technical education or CTE electives are electives specific to your identified academy pathway and can only be taken by students identified in that academy. These elective courses will be prioritized when scheduling. Global electives are elective courses that are open to any student regardless of their identified academy. These courses include world language courses, art, band, speech, yearbook to name a few. Advanced placement and dual credit courses are college rigor courses. Students up for the challenge of an AP course prepare themselves to sit for the exam at the end. Based on their score and college choice, they could be granted college credit. Dual credit courses allow students to earn college and high school credit. Both are great options for students that have a strong work ethic and commitment. A contract will be required for all students who plan to take an AP or dual credit level course, which must be turned in with your subject course card. You will not be placed in the course until the signed contract has been returned. These contracts need to be turned in by March 1st. This allows us ample time to coordinate with appropriate numbers of to coordinate the appropriate number of sections. If contracts are not submitted by this time, you may be placed on a waiting list. As you look over your transcript, realize that this is your academic picture. It will speak for you to future employers, colleges, and scholarship committees. It includes every course you take in high school, the difficulty of the course, as well as how well you did in the course. The transcript, transcript also keeps a record of your credits. 
Credits are earned for each course you pass with a letter grade of A, B, C, or D. Our academic year is divided into two semesters, August through December and January through May. These will be the only times you will get a report card. This is also the only time grades are posted to your transcript, granting you credit. Let me be clear, although we have two semesters, most courses are designed for the full year. So you will remain in the same elective course from August through June. At the end of each academic year, students must have acquired six credits to be considered a sophomore, 12 credits to be considered a junior, and 18 credits to be considered a senior. Students must have a minimum of 26 credits to graduate, and these 26 credits must include specific courses. Four credits of English, three credits of math that must include Algebra 2, but students must take a math course each year they are enrolled in high school, three credits of science that must include biology, three credits of social studies that include world history, U.S. history, and government or citizenship, a half a credit for health, a half a credit for PE, one humanities or visual and performing arts credit, and this credit can be substituted by earning two credits in at least one area of the art or performing arts, <clears throat> and 11 elective credits <clears throat> for a total of 26 credits to graduate. And again, these 26 credits in those specific classes, and this is the minimum. So the Douglas schedule structure should remain the same. You will have four classes on A day and four classes on B day. This week, you will choose eight courses plus three alternates to complete the course selection process for next year. Courses will be in one of the three categories. Regular, I mean, I'm sorry, required core, CTE electives, and global electives. So if I can direct your attention to the top of your schedule card that includes the required core, you, you must choose a course in each of these areas, English, math, science, and social studies. These courses are written in sequence from left to right with some exception. Courses are also listed in the column under the typical grade level that should be taken. So for this column is where typical sophomores or rising sophomores will be taking English 2, Geometry, biology, world history. If you have failed a required course, this is the time to develop the plan to recover this credit. Um, in some instances, this means that you will need to retake the class altogether the following next year. And if that's the case, then this is where you'll um, do that. You'll just kind of sign up for the appropriate class. Um, I encourage you to have conversations with your current content teachers um, and about the best and appropriate level course for, for next year. Um, we will be using MAP and ACT data to help determine the best placement for, for you guys. So CTE electives will be a priority for scheduling. So the ultimate goal being that each of you completes a pathway. 
So if you are interested in or planning to continue a program at one of the technical centers, East Side, Locust Trace, South Side, your pathway courses will be completed there. And so this means that you will you will select four courses that you will take on campus at Douglas. Um, and so in order to do that, if you're going to apply to one of the technical schools, you still need to complete a, a technical school application and those can be picked up from counselors. Um, and you will turn that in at the same time as you turn in your, um, your schedule card because you still will turn in a schedule card. <clears throat> So the diagram here contains the pathways that will be available at Douglas in each academy. Um, each of you will need to identify a pathway within your academy as a primary focus. And these are also in the course directory beginning on page 32. So once you have identified a pathway located on the right here, You will select at least one of the courses in the sequence, again, from left to right. Um, for example, the student that has chose allied, chosen Allied Health as, a, um, as their pathway this student will need to take uh, Principles of Health Science before they go on to take emergency procedures and medical terminology, and then Allied Health Corps. The student who is in the pre-teaching pathway will need to take the Learning Communities course before they go on to take the Learning Center classroom and then on to the Professional Educator course. And then likewise, the student who chooses Network Securities as their career pathway will need to take Intro to Network Concepts computer literacy before going on to take security fundamentals and then computer hardware and software. It should be noted that the Project Lead the Way or Biomedical Research Program is exclusively, exclusively sorry, for those students that have already taken principles of biomed and been successful in that. Um, so most of you will not be choosing um, a course in the Biomed or Project Lead the Way pathway. So unless you've already been accepted um, or you're already in that um, pathway. But like I said, you will utilize your, use your course directory for the descriptions of these courses if you have questions and that will be on page 31 in your course directory. So again, you'll be expected to choose eight total courses, uh, which will create a full schedule for you. Um, and choosing global electives will round out this process um, for you. Um, util again, utilize the course directory um, and global elective descriptions, course descriptions begin on page 11. Um, <clears throat> and make sure you pay attention to the courses that require auditions or contracts. Um, it will be important that each of you choose three alternates um, in addition to the original eight. Um, during the process, uh, during this process, you really what you're really doing is you're requesting to have the uh, courses that you mark. Um, but based on the number of students requesting the course or the number of sections we're able to offer, um, we may not be able to give everyone what they are requesting. So in that case, uh, we, we have to shuffle. Sometimes classes are canceled. Um, and so if there's an alternate included, it gives us um, an idea of what you wouldn't mind going into. However, if you do not include alternates, we have no choice but to kind of place you blindly into a class. So make sure that you include your alternates. So as you identify the courses you would like to take next year, um, you'll need to write the course number and the course name in the area identified. 
Um, if you plan to take a course that is advanced, AP, or requires an application, um, you will need to get the appropriate teacher signatures in the area listed. Um, you will not be placed in a course that requires a signature or audition, audition or contracts without them verifying that that's where you need to be. Um, so make sure that you get the appropriate signatures here. Um, so beginning today, look over your options, have conversations with your teachers and parents about the best placement for you. Um, choose eight total courses with three electives. Um, get appropriate signatures. That includes the parent um, and your student, I mean, your signature as well. Um, and then you'll bring your completed schedule card to your English class on the dates that the counselors will visit, which will be next week, starting on February the 5th. If you have additional questions, feel free to email uh, the respective counselor. Um, the health science counselor, uh, which is Ms. Cope, Erin Cope, uh, the professional services counselor, Mr. Melton, um, and the technology ac academy counselor is uh, Mr. Thomas.